So uh, I lied. <laughs> um, if you saw that community post saying there wouldn't be a video for tonight, welcome to the video that was never supposed to exist. And it's even funnier because this is the second time I'm shooting this exact video because for some reason when I was finally done, my footage decided to disappear. And your boy almost had an aneurysm, but you know what? I said, I'm gonna do it again. I have a good feeling about this. And uh, here we are. So why are we here right now? Well, for a little context, I had a video planned for today. Let's just say it fell through. I started panicking. I was like, what do I do? You know, I have this gap in my schedule and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna plan. And that's a big part of being a YouTuber, planning, preparing, you know, thinking ahead. And I'm like, oh, I might as well show my people, my audience who love iPad Pro, how I use it to plan out my day every day. So in this video, I'm going to show you pretty much how I schedule my YouTube content creation with iPad Pro and GoodNotes 5. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and see how we're going like said, and will help push my videos to more people. So yeah, without further ado here, let's jump into how I use my iPad Pro to plan out my day. So typically around 1 or 2 a.m., sometimes 3 a.m. because, you know, I'm insane. Or as of tonight, you know, when I didn't have a video to post, I open up GoodNotes 5 and here is my planner. I have two notebooks right now, one BS one that I use for videos and the other one is an actual, you know, notebook that I use and it's called, once again, Planner. And this is how I plan on my day. You know, I wrote this one. This was today's schedule. I wrote this at 2 a.m. this morning and this keeps me on track. So as you can see, I write the day, I write the date, I write what I'm supposed to be doing, I write the times, and then I can check things off at the end of the day here. And it's funny because I actually erase some of the tasks that I don't do because I don't want to feel guilty, you know, not checking every box. So right now I'm actually going to take you through scheduling tomorrow. You know what I usually do later in the night, but we're going to do it right now. So the first thing I do is I write the day. So it's going to be Friday. Friday, and I'm gonna try to make things a little bit more legible for you guys here. So that's um, 8 30 August 30th The first thing I do every morning around 10 30 in the morning This is right when I wake up because you know because I go to bed at 4 like a moron Um, I always answer my business emails, So I'm gonna write business emails in my doctor's cursive So I'll translate for you here and then I'm going to you know if I have anybody in particular I need to respond to or any important aspect of that I make a little arrow or a little asterisk and I'm in this case going to you know address an email from a company called Ugreen which is, you know, they have an iPhone product they want me to demo. Then around 11 a.m. when I wrap up with my emails, you know, I want to, you know, start planning content. So plan content um, for the day. So as of tomorrow, I'm gonna to be shooting, editing, and uploading my um, 10s Max versus Note video. So I'm gonna write that right here. That's a really, really legible VS. I'm going to erase that and make it look a little bit better. So VS, probably not even better for you if you can't read cursive. Um, next up, I'm going to say around like, you know, 12, 1-ish. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to write shoot um, a roll. And I will elaborate here. It involves, you know, top-down shots. So I'm going to write top-down plus the intro, outro bits, which, you know, show my face. So there we go. So that's what I'm gonna shoot that. Then around hopefully, you know, two to six-ish, I will get the editing done. So I'm gonna write edit, comparison, comparison, video. And I know I can use the zoomed up view in good notes here, but I don't know, I like zooming in and writing kind of huge. That's just fun for me for some reason. So then around, let's just say, if I'm being optimistic here, 8 30 p.m that's really optimistic as you know i upload late hence this video i'm gonna say publish um comparison and i'm also gonna add wow that's super super legible for you guys i'm also going to add right here um work on thumb nail and um, that's, you know, kind of involves me, like the editing process when I'm uploading my video while I'm waiting for it to upload to the internet. I usually work on my thumbnail, so that's kind of involved in that. Then around nine or 10-ish, I'm going to write here address client work. So this involves, you know, anything, any emails or any work I have to do with, you know, clients, you know, people who want to promote stuff on my channel, whether it's a product or a service, you know, anything they ask me to do or, you know, services they ask me, for example, I'm going to write here address client work. 
so this involves you know anything any emails or any work i have to do with you know clients you know people who want to promote stuff on my channel whether it's a product or a service you know anything they ask me to do or you know services they ask me for example i'm actually working on an advertisement for somebody so that involves that here then around 11 12 a.m i'm gonna write right here uh game you know i don't usually write this but i'm just kind of telling you what i do with my day slash rage while playing wait for it roblox no i'm joking um i actually play battlefield one every day i love and hate the game and i play it at the best time of the day where if i scream and rage i'm gonna get my ass kicked by my family so i guess that's kind of why i do it and also you know i edit and work late and then i have time towards the end of the day to kind of have some leisure and then i stay up until 4 a.m watching videos on youtube and tiktok and other things just wasting time as you know us teenagers and you know gen zers do and that is how i keep myself on track with my ipad pro hopefully this was helpful i know this is a very simple video but um yeah i thought it was worth sharing and once again hope you enjoyed and that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. The one part of that community post that wasn't a lie is that I have a lot of Note 10 content coming out. Major videos, full comparisons between the Note 10 and the iPhone XS Max and the OnePlus 7 Pro, and my a full review, which is coming very, very soon. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content. Like this, stay tuned for that Note 10 content. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.